absorbed. Yeah. Now, of course, if you're doing this at home, uh, you know, you have a running uh, tap water, that's great. If you have access to hot water, that's all the better. Why do we use hot water? It just helps open up pores so much better, right? And it's also very experiential. If you remember, if you remember the old barber days, uh, if you go to any barber, you know, they always use a warm towel. They heat up your face tremendously. Whether you're going for a 10 ringgit barber to a 150 ringgit barber and true fit and tail, they do that as well. They really help open up the pores, right? So the next thing you do, just wipe your face uh, with it. So just wet, wet your face so that uh, you know, the has, uh, uh, it Ideally, you, you do this. Uh, you can go next slide, please. Right, so just let it soak in a little bit more. All right. Remember, guys. Step one is all about prep, prep, and prep. So if you can take a little bit of this gel, okay, just squeeze it onto your hand. Just a little bit will do. Yeah, that's the right amount. And what you do is just rub it a little bit. Now see, it was gel earlier, and now it starts to foam up, right? Exactly like that. So start spreading it yes, generously, and then start. <laughs> yeah. So start, uh, you know, applying it generously over your face, right? Generously, generously, generously. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Yeah. So we have a menthol version as well, a cooling sensation one. These ones are uh, the normal sensitive skin areas, right? So just let it soak cleanly and, and yeah. Take your time with it, right? Most things. This is the most important step. So don't skip time with this. You can skip time in all the other steps, and I'll give you some tips on that. But this one. Do not skip because if you don't get this step right, you're gonna have a very uncomfortable shape. Alright, so this is the part where you so anywhere that you want to shape yeah. it. It's entirely up to you, right? But I, I, I think since you're almost there, I think you should go all the way. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> shape it up. <laughs> no, again, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, alright. So just just apply generously. Now, when you're doing this, when you're when you're actually yeah, so when you're when you're doing this on your face, notice the direction of where your hair goes. Okay, uh, and this is very important. Now, most of the time, most okay, hair grows in one direction, eh, towards the bottom, but. There are tricky parts where around the neck they can go here, they can go there, they can go everywhere. Okay, it's important to study where it grows, right? Because when you shave, you're actually cutting the hair, right? So you want to shave in the same direction first, uh, which is with the grain, right? So there's a term if you start you know, looking up with grooming tips and all that, they always say shave with the grain. So what does grain mean? It really means the direction of where the hair grows, right? So. Most men, you start shaving downwards, okay? That's the direction of the green, right? So, step two is really, uh, this is where you get ready with your face and razors. Now, what you can do is just wet it a little bit. Now, we don't have a running cut here, so just wet your razors a little bit. <coughs> Try not to touch the, the, the blades to the, the edges, because it upsets the whole engineering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, sorry. so with, a, with a fresh new uh, blade that you don't have to wait. Important before you shave is to look at your blades. Now, a lot of men don't forget to change the blades, right? Now, the Lubra strip is a good indication. The other indication is, uh, the other good indication is really, when you start shaving, you start feeling a hint of drag. That's the time when you need to change your blades, right? <laughs> With a good Mark III blade like this, you can last up to a month of shape, of comfortable shape, right? So that's not a problem. Now, what you then need to do is, the other tip to selecting a good razor, and you know, I, I'm of course from Gillette, of course I would tell you to use Gillette, but the, the tip of using a good razor is to choose a multi-blade razor, right? Now why, why more blades? Because if we found out in Gillette through many years of research that the more blades that you have and the closer that it's spaced together, it reduces the pressure 
on your face, right? So that you don't have to go hack it off, right? So it's not a, you know, I don't know you're an MMA fighter and all that, but this is the part that you don't really need strength, right? You need precision and you need light gentle strokes, right? So we're not, we're not going after hacking bushes, right? So this is, this is just light gentle strokes. Now, before you gentlemen start shaving, always start with the areas which are easier to shave, right? Now, with most things, leave the hardest to the last to tackle. And depends on your, your, your face. Some, most men find the hardest areas to tackle the areas around the lips, right? So this, 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 this area here, and also the part under, right under the lips, around the chin here. Leave that to last. So start from the sides, take gentle strokes, and then, you wash it, always rinse it off, it's okay, uh, and then start. So, gentlemen, you can start. I have a question. Would it also spoil the engineering of the blade if you tap it like yes. to take the residues out? Yeah. So, you don't need to tap it, all right? Yeah. No worries. You, you don't need to tap it. Just within your house, you have a running water. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, just rinse it out like this, right? And then just take slow, light. Shapes, right? Light strokes. So always start with the grain first, okay? And the go with it, right? Uh, the last part, so after you've taken it all off here, you want to get a closer shape, right? That's when you go against the grain. Now, this really depends on how much air you have and how dense your air growth is, okay? And never do this with you know very used blades. Always do this with the fresher blades. So that when you go against the grain, that's the that's really the torture test, right? You want to go slowly and short strokes and holding it this way and then going closer, right? So that really gives you a, a, a close, very very close shape, right? And the close shape, the torture or or how you know if it's a close shape is once you shave it off, you just feel with your hand. Or if you, you know, if your wife at home or girlfriend asks them to help you feel, it feels really different. Like it feels like almost baby smooth. That's the angle that you want. Yes. So just when you're already feeling a hint of tongue, you should just rinse it, right? Because what happens is when the hair gets clogged. That's when you, you find it difficult to, to so rinsing actually helps make a big difference. And when you rinse it, you just run it under the, the tap. Yeah. So that, that <coughs> How long do you actually uh, decide to just throw this blade and use another new one? So when you feel a drag. When you feel the drag. So typically it can last depending on hair growth. What we usually we, we don't put a, a time duration there because every man's hair is different. Right, depends on how much hair you have and how you shave. Now, our research has shown, and you be, I was surprised when I first saw this. How many strokes do you think Sri has taken so far while shaving? <laughs> For sure. I guarantee if you go try at home, you will definitely shave more than th 35 strokes. Minimum, right? This is considered one stroke. You will go at least 35. And some men, you will be surprised, and I'm not making this about up to 700 strokes in one shave, right? And that's because you want to get really, really close, and some men take really minor strokes, right? Now, I think that's a little bit extreme, right? Uh, if you're starting maybe from bronze, you know, uh, place where you have such a thick growth, where you find it difficult. Now, if you're also starting from a thick growth, one tip is to trim it first, right? So you could use scissors, or you could use a, a electrical trimmer, Bring it down so that it's not such a thick growth, yeah. right? Now, for most Asian men, that's not a problem, right? Unless you have a shave for like six months to a year, right? If that's the case, then you know, <laughs> take a step back, trim it slowly, and then start shaving. Otherwise, what happens is your blades will get clogged very fast, and you have to spend a lot of time. And I guarantee you, if you do that, you probably take half an hour at least. If you shave every day, your daily ritual in the bathroom should be under five minutes. But I get by with about a minute shave, easily. Am I supposed to shave every day? Yes. Oh, well, it's entirely up to what your your um, your you know role is. If you're going for an interview, for sure, yeah. I recommend to shave every day. If you want to sport facial hair, right, uh, and you want to have facial style, 
because nowadays it's really cool to have a goatee, you know, and all that. But to actually keep a goatee is much harder than most people think. Right. You actually have to shave the sides because otherwise it's not a booty. It's, it, it's a it's a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a booty. And, and the worst part is if it's not a full gorilla, then it's a half gorilla or something like that. Right. So you you want to be very careful. Right. So if you want to spot facial hair, it's not a problem. But make sure you trim the sides. Right. And, and keep the the shape. Right? And yeah, exactly what you did. Leave the end. Leave this part to the end because. Two advantages, right? One, it allows the shave prep to soak in a lot better, right? So you get uh, less irritated. Two is you can see a lot clearer. You know, most of the shave foam is gone. If you feel that you need a second round of prep, don't hesitate. Especially if you are starting from a lot of hair, right? Because then what happens is the prep runs out. So always rinse. Once you've done that, rinse off uh, the rest of it now. Because we don't have running water, that's why we'll be passing you a towel. So you can then rinse off and clear off. Remember, a tip to preserving your razor and blade is after you shave, just wash in water. Don't knock like this, okay? Uh, and that's it. And, and very important, and I've seen men do this, okay? Do not, do not, do not wipe the blade, okay? This is a, you don't need to wipe the blade. Because what happens when you wipe it and a Mark III razor, you can't see, but if you actually zoom in, each of the blades are individually spring-mounted, right? So imagine a car. Your suspension is tuned, the alignment is there. The moment you wipe it, it's like running over a road bump, right? It runs off. It doesn't go that well anymore. And I cannot guarantee you how that goes, right? So the moment the blades are misaligned, that's when things can happen, right? So you want to make sure that it keeps them perfectly. Just rinse it with water, don't knock it. Don't wipe it, leave it to dry. Okay. The last step, okay? The last step is what we call post shave, right? Now, post shave is entirely dependent on how you, you like uh, the way you, you shave, right? Some people like to use an after shave, right? So it has a little bit of alcohol in there. What it does is it helps give you that, oh, that, that feeling, right? That sensation of, of, of fresh. Uh, it also helps close up in case you have any nicks or if you shaved over any pimple or anything like that, helps close up the, 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 the pores very quickly. Now, the other one is of course to use a moisturizer, right? Uh, and, and nowadays it's, it's actually acceptable for men to use moisturizers. 20 years ago, if I said men should use moisturizer, you're thinking, this guy must be smoking something, <laughs> all right? Now it's actually very recommended, right, for you to use a moisturizer because what happens when you shave is you're taking out a lot of hydration, right? So once after that, just apply a thin coat of lotion or moisturizer. If you don't have one, take your wife or your girlfriend's one, right? No shame in doing that. Uh, and give a, a nice light coat to it, and you're done. You're off today. And look at Bronze, Peter, and Apprentice Street. <laughs>